Okay, we got a bag party, people. Uh, where's your necklace? Huh? Oh, I was thinking and I, uh, got rid of it. She took it, didn't she? Uh, today was your lucky day. So, tell me, how did it feel to run on chaos? I... Come on, man, he just rebuilt that. I just fixed that! I still got my bag of tricks. If you need me, I'll be standing back here. I'll repair it later. Let's get out of here before something else tries to kill us. Yeah, good idea. Hate to bring it up, but are we telling your dad about this? Since you've come clean and all. No way. He'd kill you. Right. Well, speaking of coming clean, I need your opinion on something. Something I've kept from my brother for a long time. Okay. I'll tell you on the way back. Come on. Do they ever quit? No, boy. These fiends do not quit. They do not know the meaning of quit. Boy. Oh. Uh. Uh. Okay, back to Alphine Tower. You were saying? Long before you were born, there was an accident at the forge. Brock died. I couldn't accept it. I went to the Lake of Souls in Alfheim to steal it back. Legions of souls tried to stop me. I can still feel them crawling all over my skin. Thing is, I could only get three of his four soul parts back. Sindri. Brock just thought he got knocked out. I've been lying to him ever since. It's been eating at me lately. You have to tell him. He has a right to know. When the time is right. As should you with your father. That's not the same thing. The fact this nigga run like that. Really? Now? Anyway, you did a good thing. You saved Brock's life. I caused trouble. No, I made a choice. One that wasn't mine to make. Am I going backwards? I ain't going backwards, am I? I ain't going backwards, fuck. My bad, child. I was, um, got into a debate with some niggas about what happened to David on Cyberpunk. The Cyberpunk anime. What do you mean? A choice. I... I couldn't be alone. The other dwarves, when they saw him, they shunned us. So we left. We made our own home. Well, you can't change the past, but it doesn't have to be who you are. Let's go home before Father wakes up. That might be the best idea you've had all night. 
Trey. Trey? It's a... Shut up. Trey. I like that. I should call the boy Trey now. So I'm not allowed to give you a nickname? Is that what that was? <sighs> Whatever, Loke. Nope. Dead. That was worse. Ugh. And I heard it when I said it. All right. No, 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 no. Shall we? Oh, okay, that's what I, nah, damn. Never mind then. These niggas here. Such a failure. Just wanted now. To hang on, little Yota. Tear may not be everything you expected, but a failure. You saved him from a terrible fate. That's not nothing. And hey, maybe he'll be some help to us yet. Maybe. But father's not gonna go along with this forever. He's probably already got our next hiding place all picked out. Well, let's not make it worse by getting caught. When we get there. I'll cover our tracks at the gateway and slip around back, and you just act natural, but quickly. You're gonna be here waiting for us, watch. What the fuck he got? What the fuck did he go? Watch. Open up the door, nigga. I trust their wisdom, and this is the closest thing to hearing directly from them. You are certain the giants would not cause a war? I said that they were wise. In my experience, that goes with being peaceful. Oh, little brother! Told you we needn't worry. Atreus, where have you been? Pee? Hope you're all hungry! I could eat. Is everyone as well rested as I am? Be right down. Is this sausage? Uh, sure. Why not? I remember food tasting better. Yeah. I suppose you'd like to try cooking for this lot. I accept. What? Mm. I'm sure that's where I'm planning our next move. Oh, so where are we going? Alfheim. Home of the elves. Alfheim? You hate Alfheim. Why would we move there? Who there? Oh, we are seeking information. The shrine of Groa, young one. Your father tells me you found it there. Groa? The knowledge keeper? Oh, maybe there's a secret there I can unlock. Aye. Who better than the seer who saw everything? Hmm. I wasn't sure you, um... Never mind. That's great. I'll find. Hey! Don't go forgetting this what'll get you there. You know what? I'm gonna build a bigger table. <laughs> More for me. Tear, you're really up for coming with us? I am. Whenever you're ready. 
Well, whenever your father's ready, I should say. If my counsel might help you towards the answers you seek, it's the least I can do to repay you. Plus, I think it will do me well to see the light of Elfheim again. Hmm. That elf light is some good shit. This nigga said that elf light is some good shit. What is that my elf pussy nigga? Hmm. Elf pussy. So confused on what these are now. It's crazy. Oh. See, I had chaos flame, but them niggas took it away from me. It's gonna be level level two for a good minute. Right behind you. I'll meet you at the gateway presently, friend. He look like he wanted to whoop boy ass. Yes. And that nigga said a lot of time I want to go pee everywhere back say hey, boy. Excuse me, sir. Mind if I take a little peek at you? I promise I'll be brief. Oh, the talking chick monk nigga. My goodness, what a strapping physique. Capable of an astounding variety of acts of violence, I imagine. What is happening? What? This must be the squirrel that tames the world tree. Yep. That delectable aroma. Could it be? Pardon the intrusion. Mm. Ah, yes. Amber resin. Delightfully nutty with a hint of squidding. No. Not one for gastronomic exploration, I see. Wait. If you're ratted Hosker. Why are you so different when we summon you for help? It's a long story. <laughs> but you are correct. I am indeed Ratatosker. The one you know as Ratatosker is merely one of my spectral aspects. And a particularly nasty one at that. I consider him so far removed from myself that he's practically a different person. Speaking of... Bitter, would you like to come out and see your friends? Fuck off! I'm busy! I suppose that was to be expected. Anyway, now that I've polished off all this resin for you, would you like the seed back? It is the seed. Indeed. A seed of Yggdrasil, to be precise. Since my dwarven tenants performed their little reconfiguration, you'll need seeds like these to open up new destinations on my tree. <laughs> Your tree, huh? Yes, my tree. Here, let me show you. <sighs> ah, so that's why good Master Brock needed an Alpine seed. Clearly, you have important matters afoot. That seed you found unlocks Niflheim, of all places, a realm as ancient as it is vaguely sticky. Fuck, why did they give me this? Svartalfheim remains at your disposal if you have unresolved business amongst the dwarves. Fuck me. Okay, it's Niflheim. This is Midgard. Why is it currently locked? Okay, this is... Damn, nigga! Why'd they give me this fucking choice? This is hard! Is this the actual choice?
meant to save. I can't go back. Fuck. Okay, I'm gonna have to end the episode right here. And I'm gonna do some side missions. I'm gonna do some grinding off screen. Perhaps as we travel, you can tell me the tale of your prior visit to the land of the elves. Sure, I can. Alfon was the first time we ever roam traveled using your temple. Freya tried coming with us, but Odin cast a spell on her. She can't leave Midgard. That's terrible. So then we fought our way through an army of dark elves to get to the light. You interfered in the elf war. Not by choice. We sought to fill our Bifrost, and they attacked us. And the dark elves were covering it with their sticky hive stuff. When we freed it, light elves came back. They seemed better in Alfon. <laughs> Did they now? Alfheim. It's been so long. Not sure where the temple is from here, but that's where we'll find Groa Shrine. Broken history. Aye, not exactly an easy fix for that. See the elves continue their war. Yeah. So much for things being better in Alpha. <laughs> Yikes. Fimble Winter hit Alfheim hard. No. Storms have plagued Alfheim's deserts long before Fimble Winter. I'll meet you on the other side. Hold on. I hear something out there. Something big. It's in pain. at the temple, not in the desert. There, the Temple of Light. Roar's shrine is at the top.
Perhaps we can reach that brazier from above. Is everything okay? Aye, old friend. Just looting on your chests. We'll be right along. My dad likes loot. Ah, very well. Freyr never bothered returning to Alfheim, did he, Mimir? Aye, no. I assumed the fate of his own realm took precedence. Wait, Freya's brother? Yes. Cut from a different cloth, that one. <laughs> There's a barricade up ahead. What are those shiny rocks? Twilight Stone. A rare material that can take millennia to build. Majestic, isn't it? Occasionally, the light of Alfheim will bind to a rock and crystallize, growing like moss on a fallen tree. Truly a wonder of the nature. Oh, I didn't know it could do that. Freya's brother. How was he involved? Long ago, Freya of the Vanir traveled to Alfheim, where he discovered a once beautiful land devastated by war. Using his divine powers, he set about cultivating a tenuous peace among the elves. Right guy! Father! What became of Kavasir? Ripped apart by his audience. Well, one member of his audience. Well, Thor. Did you mention how that piece fell apart as soon as he left? I was getting to it. You hear that? Oh no. That's enough, please. We don't need to do this. We don't want to hurt you. We do not have a choice. Is that a bomb? 
We're the ones who freeze your life. Yaffa! Why are you fighting us? We helped you last time. Atreus, focus. I hate Alphonse. Watch your leg. Oh. Most unfortunate. They attacked us. More will follow once we're inside. Is there truly no other way? Not like they're giving us much of a choice. So your father said. I'm just naive, I suppose. No. Just an optimist, old friend. Tribute to Freya, made by the elves. He must have left it here when he raced back to Vanaheim. What is this? A charm to ward off nightmares. In this case, flares. Well, knowing the elves, there are probably more tributes to yeah. find. It's an older gate, built to promote cooperation between the elves, but it looks like it's been sealed for some time. I'll go first. Atreus, let me know when I've reached halfway. So, uh, what's happening right now? This seal is meant to represent the balance of the realm when Freyr was here. Light and dark, working together in harmony. How's that look, Atreus? Good, I think. Father, Unfortunately I... for Alfheim, Freyr couldn't accept his sister's decision to marry Odin. He returned to Vanaheim and left this realm to its fate. To be fair, the Aesir did set him on fire that one time. Hmm. The door should have opened. Are you sure it's balanced? Yeah, but the realm isn't. Not anymore. Father, try pulling it the other way. Yeah, yeah, and here, you keep pushing forward. Fine work, Atreus. Shall we? What's a Dark Elf statue doing in the Light Temple? That's just how they looked before the Division. The Division? Yes. The Elves weren't always split between Light and Dark, you know. This statue depicts the Elves before the war before they discovered the power of the light. Solid light. Guess some things don't change. Yes. The stone briefly imparts a bit of light to your axe. That's useful. What's that sound? No sense in spoiling the surprise. Oh, it's 
What's the light? Ah. I've never seen the Lake of Souls so volatile. Aye. Fimple winter, you reckon? Of course. Making the light unstable. So the base of this light well, that's the Lake of Souls. Yes. After the creation of the Nine Realms, fallen souls began to gather down in those waters. When the Elves discovered its potential, they built this temple to harness that energy. A smashing success, to say the least. Many of them became addicted to their newfound power, and thus, the Light Elves were born. I imagine our Light Elf friends will be less than pleased. Speaking of Light Elves... Let me try talking to them again. They may... Thanks just to let these two do their thing, brother. <laughs> This way, the shrine awaits. Kratos, where are you going? He's just looking around. <laughs> ah, curious mind. Carry on. The temple looks so different than I remember. It was all broken and covered in hive stuff last time we were here. These elves use Alfheim's light to enhance the temple, and themselves by the look of it. They definitely look more dangerous than last time. Oh, those were just the foot soldiers. They'll get more dangerous the further up we go. Great. The shrine is this way, Kratos. Yeah, you know, they just like to be thorough. I see. By all means, then. Behind you! Watch out! <laughs> Oh, these things smell awful. Find you, incoming. Interesting this way. Mumia, do you want 
understand these poems. Oh, there's always meaning if you look hard enough, brother. It's all in what you bring to it. More light elves ahead. I'll handle this. Uh, maybe that's not a great idea. Oh there, friends! Salutations! We mean you no harm. Here! Get back! Why do they keep fighting? The Dark Elves want the souls and the light left alone. But the Light Elves want to keep using them. That's the long and short of it. Aye. So then, which side is right? Rarely is it so simple. I'm not our place to say. This is an elven conflict. I said as much the last time we were in Alfheim. Right. Sure made a lot of these light doors. Huh. Fortifications. Aye. None too eager to let the Dark Elves run the roost again. <laughs> hey, that looks interesting. I don't think that's the way up to the shrine. We know. There's a chest over here. Oh, I see it now. Forgive my impatience. Oh, Tracy. Oh, clever use of your axe, Kratos. Well, that be explored. Oh, no. Let's ah. play! <laughs> Back to it then. Hit. You all right? 
brother. You're building quite the collection of poetry, brother. Why so surprised? My people are known for their culture. Not surprised. I suppose I'll leave you to it. <laughs> I'll meet you on the other side. Whoa! Tyr can really jump. We can continue up this way. Father, over here! He's getting the hang of it. I've never seen the Light Elves with so much control over the temple. Yes, that's on us. They must have anointed a new temple guardian. Sparta Yoffa's counterpart. The Dark Elf King. Yes, he's in the light now, too. Timing must be precise.
Here they come. Do what you must. Here they come. Do what you must. Light up on the left! <laughs> <laughs> statue. These crystals. I've noticed them on the elves as well. Oh! The crystals still make light bridges. I help wear them. Smart. Almost there. Allow me. I dare say he's beginning to enjoy the vandalism. Pretty soon he'll be laying waste to pottery. Shall we continue? No better than us, Baba. I can't remember the last time I visited the Nord. Nor do I wish to try.
Twilight Stone. It's nice seeing it again. And here we go again. Once you've hunted, I wonder if it might be worth visiting the Raven Tree. Another light door. There's some twilight stone on that statue shield. That angle isn't gonna work. Do you think there's any way to stop the elves from fighting each other? Had Freyr not abandoned the realm, a lasting peace may have formed. But now... Can we really place all the blame on Freyr? This war started long before his arrival. But he had the power to heal this land and end the war, did he not? He made his choice. The wrong one. For Alfheim, perhaps. But not necessarily for him. Well, I suppose we're all entitled to walk our own path, regardless of where they end. I'm sure there's a way to set it in place with some highly targeted destruction.
Here, the last time we were here, we killed the Dark Elf. That's unfortunate. I'd wondered what became of Sparta. We had to defend ourselves, but when he died, he told us we helped the wrong side. I see. still hear something wounded out there. I think so. It could just be the storm. Perhaps we can investigate once we've uncovered a mysterious seer's hidden prophecy. <laughs> <laughs> 